What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Stephen Motivate. Back again with another set of Turo tips on our list of 52 Turo tips. We got a tip for every week of the year as you run your Turo business. Um, it's not a uh, unactive thing. It's a very active thing that you need to be in, but uh, I don't think Turo's going anywhere. It's here to stay, so we want to give you tips on, on how to do it and uh, you know how you can make some extra money. Um, with your vehicle. In addition to your list of contacts you need with Turo, tip number 18 is this, and I'll keep this one quick, but you need a windshield repair guy. A windshield repair guy. There's likely a local guy in your area that does windshield repair um, just as efficient, just as effective as uh, what's the one we know? Safe flight repair, safe flight replace. You know, they're the big one. You know, I think they're national, but they're local guys who know how to repair windshields. And you need a windshield repair guy because you are going to have so many situations where there's going to be windshield damage to your car uh, on accident most of the time, if not all the time. You know, when people are driving on the highway debris and things pop up hit the windshield you know cause cracks cause damage and so you've just got to be you got to be aware of that and you got to be cautious as it relates to that um and so i would say uh if you don't have a windshield repair guy you need to find one and google it you can use yelp um they are uh just as effective and efficient as the big names um, they can repair windshields. So if it's like a crack that's, you know, I think if it's less than a pinky size, then it can usually be filled with a resin um, that makes sure that that crack doesn't expand. Once it spreads, once that crack spreads in your car windshield, you need to have that windshield replaced. It's uh, very dangerous to be driving around like that. And, of course, you don't want guests to get in a car that has a big crack in the windshield. It just doesn't look good. It's not a good presentation of the vehicle. So having a windshield repair guy is key. And you can usually get one. Um, you can get some. It's still going to be expensive. I think you're looking from a price range, from what my experience, you're probably looking between $50 or less to do repairs. Um, maybe as cheap as $25. Bucks, sometime somewhere between $25 and $50 to do repairs of windshield uh, cracks again that's where it's small enough where it can be filled and then for windshield replacement depending on the type of vehicle you have how new it is um, or how what the brand is or how expensive it is and how many features it has in it you know features when windshields you'd be surprised they've got windshields that have automatic sensors for when it rains they've got windshields that uh, can heat up uh, they've got windshields that you know you can see how fast you're going. They've got the speedometer that shows up on the windshield. It's called heads-up display. So there's all these different type of uh, levels to windshield replacements, and so um, which is another reason why having a, a car that has a relatively cheap windshield with not as much technology, again, will kind of help you on the maintenance and uh, repair side if you have to replace a windshield but uh, the range for that I would say is as little as three hundred dollars to probably up to six or seven hundred dollars and so um, it can get pretty expensive so you really want to pay attention to that you really want to have a contact that can help you as it relates to windshield repairs um, and one thing I will say is that if you become a Turo power host and this is something that they don't typically advertise, but there is a credit you can get for um, windshield damage. Uh, I believe you have to make a claim still um, with your guests. You have to go through the claims process uh, with the Turo team, which is you know not an easy process, but nonetheless, it is what it is. And when you do that, you can get a um, you can get a reimbursement. I think it's up to a hundred dollars per claim for windshield uh, replacement or windshield damage. Not a ton of money, but it's something. And so that's only a, a benefit, I believe, for power hosts. And in another episode, I'll um, I'll go through what it requ what's required to become a power host. 
But, um, yeah, that's a little tip for you. So, as it relates to that, um, you need to find a windshield rep- repair guy. I would say try to get with, look on Yelp, look on Google, um, do searches online to try to find that. Uh, so that is tip number 18. Uh, really straightforward. You just need you need a guy as it relates to that. Tip number 19. So tip number 19 is that if you're going to be a tour host and you're going to do a good job at, at being a tour host, you need to have a... Um, you need to have a really detailed listing, and I mean super detailed listing. Um, I talk about a hack for this in my course, uh, which my course information, if you want to sign up for the course um, and uh, allow me to teach you with even more videos and more information about what you need to do to to really succeed in the Turo space, um, you can sign up for that. We'll leave a link to that in the show notes and uh, in the description down below. But just in general, outside of the hack, you really need to make sure that you have a listing that um, is just detailed. Like there are certain people who want to hear about uh, what type of car they're in. Um, There are car people that want to know the horsepower. They want to know how fast it can go from from zero to 60. They want to know um, if it has four wheel drive and all these different things that you see on a, a sticker, a car, uh, you know, sticker price where it's got the price somewhere here and then it has all these features of what the car has. Most people may not even know what half of that stuff means. Um, but being able to have that detailed information in your listing is super, 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 super important. It's super impressive it is it attracts guests it it lets people know kind of what they're in um and i'll give you one tip for this so even putting what the original price of the vehicle was so this is especially important if you have luxury vehicles so hey this was originally a ninety thousand dollar car it's like wow i'm driving it and it may not be you know worth ninety thousand anymore but knowing the sticker price of stuff People like that. It's kind of like a flex. It's kind of like, oh, yeah, this is a $50,000 vehicle. This is a $100,000 vehicle, new. And so being able to kind of throw out that stat is a little flex. It's a little, you know, kind of gives you a little, I don't know. I don't know the word to use, but it's like, you know, it, it impresses people. And it gives. it's a talking point. It's a conversation point. And when you're, you know, we've had people rent rent cars for all types of reasons, but when they're doing that, they can look at that detail and say, wow, I'm renting a car that knew this car was $100,000 or, you know, so it, it even though it's not worth that anymore, just the idea that you're in a car that at one point cost that much is exciting for folks. And so, you know, getting into the details of your listing and getting into the details of what type of vehicle you're really offering people really adds an allure. It makes it more attractive and it it helps out your business in general. So that's what I mean when I say super detailed listing. Like, don't just do the minimum. Hey, this is my car. You can rent it. No, this is a uh, this is a Audi Q7 2018, it's got three rows. Actually, let's pull up one of my listings. Let's see how, how you know, fancy we get with this. Um, if I'm looking at the details of, of one of my cars here, I talk about um, on, this is, this is how it reads. Description, 2019 Mercedes-Benz C300, your dream ride awaits. Welcome to the ultimate driving experience. Get ready to turn heads in this sleek and stylish 2019 Mercedes-Benz C300. It's not just a car, it's a statement. Luxurious comfort. Sink into plush leather seats and enjoy the spacious high-end interior. Perfect for long drives or styling or stylish city cruising. Top-notch performance. I mean, it goes on and on. (laughs) I'm not going to bore you with all of it, but you see how it's compelling. And there's, you know, you can use ChatGBT. Get on there and say, hey, give me a detailed listing for my 2019 Mercedes-Benz C-Class C300, right? What does C-Class mean for a Mercedes-Benz? What is E-Class? 
what do these descriptions really um, really refer to? And being able to really uh, really talk through that is very important um, for people. The more detailed your listing, the better. It's going to help your business. It's going to set you apart. And again, if you're if you're lazy with your listing, your Turo business will struggle. If you're not lazy with your listing and you really are detail oriented, it will show and it will attract guests and it will likely raise you in the rankings and the algorithm. And it's just it's just compelling. It becomes a more compelling listing. So uh, that's tip number 19. Make sure you have a super detailed listing. Like I said, I talk about more hacks on this and, and how to do this quickly and effectively um, in my course. But the you know that the main takeaway is if hopefully that's good enough like if if your listing is just subpar right now then you're probably getting subpar results there's probably more people in your area that would like to book your car but your listing is just so blah that you know it's not really attracting anyone so i, I leave you with that tip tip number 19 um look if this helped you the way it helped me to understand about uh detailed listings or to understand that you need a windshield guy like leave some comments leave some feedback for me let me know uh what you liked about it what you didn't like and if it helped you share it with somebody else share it with somebody that's looking for a side hustle you know that's looking to produce some extra income that works from home or you know doesn't use their car very often or has an extra car that is just sitting and so these are all different things you can do to, uh, you know, take you and on your entrepreneurship journey to the next level. So, again, leave comments, uh, leave feedback, and most of all, subscribe. Subscribe so you can see any time that we're talking about uh, anything entrepreneurial, whether it's Turo tips or whether it's uh, just the journey of how to run and manage a business while you still work a full-time job. We'd love to help you. Um, again, this is your boy, Stephen Motivate. As always, stay motivated. Peace. <laughs>